Hugh Jackman celebrates his 56th birthday today, and what better way to honor the occasion than by diving deep into the history of his famously playful feud with his good friend Ryan Reynolds. Their relationship, which has evolved into a delightful mix of teasing and camaraderie, can be traced back to before they even shared the screen in the upcoming Deadpool Wolverine. In a revealing interview with the Daily Beast in 2020, Jackman shared the origins of their often hilarious dynamic. Jackman remarked, it's gone back so long now. God, this is a classic sign where your feud has gone too long, where you don't even know why or how it started. This playful banter has become a hallmark of their friendship, with both actors often using social media to poke fun at each other. During a recent interview for People, the two reflected on their 17-year friendship, recalling a humorous incident on the Deadpool Wolverine set. Jackman reminisced about a moment when Reynolds approached him and jokingly called out Steve. To which Reynolds responded, Greg, No, don't tell me. As we celebrate the iconic actor known for his legendary portrayal of Wolverine, let's take a closer look at the timeline of this ongoing feud and the comedic exchanges that have marked Jackman and Reynolds' friendship. According to Jackman, the roots of their rivalry may lie with actress Scarlett Johansson, who was married to Reynolds from 2008 to 2011. I used to ream him because I was very close friends with Scarlett Jackman revealed. Scarlett had just married Ryan, so when he came on set, I was like, hey, you better be on your best behavior here, pal, because I'm watching. From that moment on, their friendly teasing began escalating over the years, especially with the launch of the Deadpool franchise, where Reynolds' character began calling Jackman out in humorous ways, often leveraging social media to manipulate him into joining the fun. Jackman brought the feud into the public eye in 2015 when he posted a video on Instagram that showed Reynolds, dressed as Deadpool, doing a comedic impersonation of him complete with a spot-on Australian accent. Their playful jabs continued to roll out over the years, often accompanied by a mixture of light-hearted sarcasm and genuine admiration for each other. In January 2017, Reynolds made a bold move by publicly proposing a mashup movie featuring his beloved character Deadpool alongside Jackman's Wolverine. This ambitious idea, however, faced a roadblock when Jackman announced that he would retire his claws with the release of Logan in March of that year, which he presented as his final chapter in the Wolverine saga. Yet Reynolds remained optimistic, declaring, I have no idea if I can change his mind he believed that he could use their undeniable on-screen chemistry to convince Jackman to return for another project. As Jackman weighed his options, he acknowledged the appeal of a collaboration. He shared, I could totally see how that's the perfect fit. But the timing may be wrong their banter continued, marked by friendly jabs during the holiday season and on each other's birthdays. In April 2018, Jackman attempted to record a heartfelt birthday message for a fan on Twitter, only to be hilariously interrupted by Reynolds, who appeared in full Deadpool costume singing tomorrow from Annie. Jackman, clearly amused, joked when you're trying to record a heartfelt birthday message. But are interrupted by the least greatest showman the clip became an instant hit, showcasing their playful dynamic. When Reynolds turned 42, Jackman couldn't resist celebrating in his own style. He shared a photo of the two embracing with a cheeky caption because I'm told that I am the nicest guy and you're not. Advance it to Reynolds. I will let you hug me, just this once, on your birthday. Reynolds quickly retorted with a mock accusation. This man is a monster. He's not even from Australia. He's from Milwaukee. Their playful exchanges are a testament to their bond, revealing the ease and humor that characterized their friendship. In February 2019, both actors declared a truce on their social media, aiming to mend their broken relationship by promoting each other's businesses Reynolds Aviation Gin and Jackman's Laughing Man Coffee. Reynolds shared a black and white photo of the two shaking hands, declaring official truce with at real who Jackman Jackman echoed the sentiment, expressing excitement for the upcoming ads they would create. However, Reynolds couldn't resist adding a twist by editing the photo to include explosive elements, captioning it, look closely. Despite their best efforts to play nice, their rivalry reignited that August when Jackman injured his hand during a one-man tour. Jackman humorously attributed the injury to Reynolds, posting a photo of the scratch and jokingly blaming him, while Reynolds chimed in with a witty remark, I just don't think you've been practicing enough. In a more heartfelt moment, Jackman took to social media in February 2020 to commemorate his 24th anniversary with his now ex, Deborah Lee Jackman. His touching message about their relationship drew a cheeky comment from Reynolds who simply said, hang in there, Deb, demonstrating his penchant for humor even in serious moments. When Jackman celebrated his 53rd birthday in October 2021, Reynolds struck again, sharing a TikTok video of himself wearing socks featuring Jackman's face. Look, I don't tell you how to celebrate Hugh Jackman's birthday, so don't tell me. Reynolds quipped, while Jackman humorously replied that those socks were homemade by Reynolds himself. 
In their most recent conversation for People, Jackman reflected on how often fans approach him to talk about Reynolds, humorously dismissing their enthusiasm. Shut up, I'm not interested, he joked. But Jackman also expressed admiration for Reynolds, noting that his openness about personal struggles with anxiety is commendable and has inspired many. During a joint appearance on The View to promote Deadpool Wolverine, the two former sexiest men alive playfully recreated their iconic magazine covers, much to the delight of the audience. When asked about any competition between them, Jackman quipped, Don't bring it up. We've done a lot of therapy. Their banter continued as Reynolds attempted to strike a casual pose for his cover, which elicited laughter from the audience. In a moment of playful camaraderie, when John Legend was announced as People's Sexiest Man Alive in 2019, Jackman took the opportunity to poke fun at Reynolds with a silly Instagram video. 99% of the time, People Magazine gets it right. He quipped, then turned the humor towards Reynolds saying, but a word of caution. There is the 1%, Exhibit A. The playful rivalry didn't end there. When Jackman announced a series of concerts titled From New York, with Love Reynolds was quick to interject during the promotion. As Jackman discussed his upcoming shows at Radio City Music Hall, Reynolds cheekily asked if he would be part of the lineup. Jackman jokingly agreed to the idea while signaling that he would prefer Reynolds to remain in the audience, perhaps to keep their rivalry in check. Reynolds concluded, I'm not going to be in it, to which Jackman humorously replied, on stage, no, but in my heart, yeah, this exchange exemplified the friendship that exists beneath their playful rivalry, with both stars affirming their mutual respect and appreciation for each other. As Jackman celebrates another year, it's clear that the love-hate dynamic he shares with Reynolds is one of the most entertaining friendships in Hollywood. Their ongoing banter and public trolling continue to delight fans, showcasing a friendship built on laughter, mutual respect, and a shared love for entertaining their audiences. Here's to many more years of this hilarious and heartwarming rivalry.